Hello diamonds and welcome back to the Hornet season 5. I just bought some food from Talonara, who has made quite nice little shack. So it's one of the cheapest foods you can find on the server and uh, generally quite good. But this time when I came around I saw that Talonara has built a kind of interesting building. And, uh, and I also noticed all the signs here, which is a very good idea. It does help to navigate what is good for what purpose, so I do like it. And there seems to be something downstairs as well, which we might need to check out. But yeah, she seems to be going for baking, which is good skill. We all need that. There are some curtains, also interesting. But yeah, the wall and everything, it's kind of like, I'm not sure if it's finished, probably not yet. Work in progress. Now when we go downstairs... There's living quarters, something that I still don't have, even though I mentioned a few days ago that I need to do. There's some storage for kitchen, some more storage for kitchen, then a small washroom. Possibly if you put the water the other way there, you can have also access to latrine. But it's not too bad. And the living room. And I do like that uh, it is next to the ceiling, so... No need to worry about the chimney pots. But yeah, it looks quite decent. It's all good. Nice. But yeah, outside here I can see that there's a lot of work being done and not finished yet. So kind of interested to see how it would look like once it's all done. So yeah, now I will slowly start heading back. There's also Willy, who has made... His typical joke uh, of the name. So I haven't really bought anything from Willy. At least not yet. And I don't really think I, I want to do uh, concentration. Because for this concentration, it's 5 to 1, and he's only selling 4. And also the concentrate. Okay, the concentrate is not too bad. I could get up to 1.8 for that. But yeah, the quantity is a little bit lower at the moment. Yeah, Nothing much really available at the moment. Maybe later when he actually wakes up. So I record it before people in UK wake up. Huh. Kind of interesting kitchen. Very difficult to go through. But I mean, for the score, it's kind of okay. Bedroom. I do like how it's easily accessible. I quickly get down and sleep. Living room. It's kind of good. I do like it. And another living room. All good. And the other side is big storage. I remember yesterday he mentioned about needing to dig out all this area for, for the stockpile. It seems that he managed it. Then over here is bathroom. Kind of inaccessible in many areas, but... But yeah, bedroom. As as this place has kind of high ceilings, it's still possible to go over, but it's a bit limited. Kitchen, another kitchen, and another bathroom. This probably needs to be rotated the right way, because it's very difficult to use latrine if it's that way, but well, it's still better than having none, like in my case. So, so yeah. And he has quite decent amount of iron underneath which is excellent so anyway uh, i need to start heading back so let's see what we have on our way back there are definitely quite a few buildings like there is this building the front has been made quite nice i do like it so the metal then hey you two to three okay and they already sell threes I mean, I have money and I do need one, so so yeah. Ah, sexy fish, of course. So probably once I get my class working, which I do up to level 4, I can also start making the le level 2s and possibly sell them. But yeah, I need to kind of keep things in order. Because otherwise it's very difficult to get anything done. Basic engineering skills grow being sold here. Possibly had bought 
bit too many. It does happen, like... Was it the season 3? Uh, where I accidentally bought one skill extra and had a skill scroll in my pocket for the rest of the season. Yeah, it does happen easily. Because you might not notice right away that it was already in your pocket. Actually, this uh, today uh, the server had some slight issues. There was problem that it didn't start up after auto reboots. So me and Dan we were quickly investigating and well got it working, which is quite good. So some issue with is, uh, the JSON files that it generates for mods, so it wasn't loading it in, and we edited it to make it a valid JSON file, and then it ran. So, of course, Moss ended up logging in later as well and said that you can just delete the file, it's fine. Because it was literally empty, so. so yeah. But anyway, the server was down like maybe like 10-15 minutes. But we got it nicely running and after that I've been continuously online monitoring what's happening and so on. But yeah, we can see that this place here has changed a little bit. I do like the look of it, it's unique. And... Good things uh, from here as well. I, I used to sell all my uh, sand to here. And yeah, they are definitely using the, the trade assistant, which I really dislike because it makes a big mess of everything. But yeah, we can sell those here to make extra cash back. And yeah, for that purchase order for BU3s, is, is just for the trade assistant setup which is a little bit annoying of course but this is how the trade assistant works it requires everything to be present and yeah it's a mess so i'm still kind of going against the trade assistant and yeah home depot maybe later on once we get some important ingredients we can go and check it out but i have a few other things i want to show first because I've been doing a little bit digging and yeah, I did add up class working as well. And yeah, I put my own sign up so I know how many people are online and who out of admins are there. And yeah, it does flicker sometimes because well, it's a mod that overrides everything. But before we even continue, let's put better module inside here because we need all we get. Put that up there. Some food in here. This one we can put there as well. This one... Actually, we should have salads on us because we're lacking some of those things. Let's take one salad right away. Food score, 50. It's, it's not the best, but it will do. How much glass do we have? We have no glass available. Seems that someone has bought all of our glass. So yeah, I'm the only one who's actually making glass for purchase. Uh, the other person who's making glass is doing it only for upgrades. So let's see from our personal accounts. Uh, where was it? Yeah, Captain Cook bought all 48 that I had over. So I'm keeping 20 as reserve just to make sure that I'm not fully out, so I can still make upgrades if, if needed. But yeah, let's see also what is happening with the uh, rentals. So this place, yeah, still no availability because whenever anything comes, it goes quickly. And Zebra hasn't made any changes either, so yeah, you have no place to go. So happily, I did start digging out uh, this corner here to uh, start adding the rooms. So I'm planning to add the rooms the same way, so dig out everything on the sides and make it inside here. I might actually even add some windows on the sides by removing the dirt, because right after the dirt is just open area. So it's all good. And about the mining, what I've been doing, this is kind of important as it has been quite hard work, is that I have managed to get a little bit 
copper. So yeah, here's my copper mine. So it seems to be the ceiling of the copper. So I'm slowly mining down because initially I couldn't find it because it was literally always between my checks as I have the uh, iron uh, trail. So I started mining here and I was like, it's quite high up. So yeah, so now I'm just doing upstairs first and then going back down as things get done. So yeah, this is something that has been happening. I also took down the uh, stump of the old grouse that uh, I did complain about uh, yesterday. So it's now all cleaned up and nice so we can maybe plant some uh, regular redwood. So at least something to grow. Oh, someone else has logged out. Happens. And the upstairs is getting a bit, bit empty. We do have all the concentrate co copper here. So maybe maybe in the future we can sell it. The current price is based on what Tavernara told me yesterday. So it might go down very quick. And also have plenty of logs now. Because I'm literally using logs to <laughs> feed my classworks because I've been too lazy to go and uh, get coal. But it also reminds me that I really need to go and get some limestone and I have to put probably those somewhere safe so I need to put them in the basement I guess it's probably the best place so there's not many places available on the server where you can put them and as I have to go out maybe I can go this way it's the place where I can buy those things is that way yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult because there's no road going this way. There's a road going the other way and it's really, really, really long walk. And yeah, I little got annoyed with that. So. so yeah, let's see if we can go this way quickly. There's a lot of swimming required and all the hard work. Maybe, maybe I have to start mining myself because it would be a lot easier. Even then I need a bit more road going this way. I think before when I was getting the advanced upgrade one, then uh, I was digging out some crashes at the riverside just to make sure that I have some extra. As I did buy like a bunch of those, like full loads, but they go very quickly, especially with low upgrades. So, so hopefully once we have advanced smelting out, then we can start uh, getting the, uh, what is it called? <sighs> Not limestone, but is it lime? Quick lime? Yeah, quick lime, wasn't it? So with that, we can make even better glass. But yeah, it will take quite a while. I also went to check out the uh, dance place when I was... Uh, chatting with him. She stayed up quite late for you, kid, huh? and Yeah, he was doing some works in his place and I think I want to go there and show that as well. Because he has something interesting that, uh, well, might be good to check out because he decided that he needs some employees. And yeah, this is kind of strange that I can access it here. So I can maybe take, I will take 240 because I want my hands free. So let's buy those. Put them inside. Because this way it's fully loaded. I'm trying to remember the numbers all the time. <laughs> it's a bit difficult. But yeah, so he wanted to get some workers, at least visually. Even though he's doing the actual work. So I think it's kind of interesting thing to find out. So let me quickly get to his place and show you what I mean. So here we are at Dan's place. It has quite nice hedge all around. He said that it's not fully finished yet, so he will continue working on it. He has already added the second floor, which I haven't seen. Let's see if he left door open. Of course not. Like, he never does that. We can already see through the windows that there are some workers inside. So yeah, he is using the mannequins that are in the game files, but 
not really available for anyone. So just to make it look a bit more like they are actual workers and the link upstairs as well. So let's quickly sneak in and take a little bit closer look on what is here. Actually, as we are in, maybe I can just not fly. It's easier for me as well. So yeah, all the workers are right here. And yeah, the masculine mannequins that they are, they cannot be, well, produced yet. He was thinking that maybe it could be added as a recipe. So we'll see in the future. But yeah, currently it's right here. And yeah, he named the business as Fruit of the Loom, which is one of the garment manufacturers. And in my past, I have used the garments because I used to do uh, some printing. So it's kind of familiar for me. But yeah, so let's see what he has hidden in the dungeon. Some work tables, the kitchen. It's actually quite kind of nice uh, decoration. I do like this way. And yet the way how the wall reacts to this piece is good. And yeah, just storing stuff on top makes sense. This one maybe can be a different way. But yeah, it's a bit too much storage hidden away. It's probably for the seeds and stuff. Then bedroom. It's really basic, but it works well. And again, kind of interesting ceiling parts. Uh, bathroom that is a bit inaccessible, especially the latrine. Well, the latrine needs to be up front. And then living room. And yeah, he doesn't like the chimneys, so this mount is nicely getting smoked. But anyway, what is upstairs then? Ooh, here's also an <laughs> interesting room. Really tiny and just just with two armchairs. Interesting. And downstairs then. Ooh, he has coal. Lucky him. I would like some of that coal. But anyway, upstairs we can see there are more tables relating to all the tailoring and farming. And it's definitely not even finished. I think he's going to extend those rooms this way to give more possibilities. But yeah, it's quite interesting build that he has made. And I'm interested to see what, what the future holds. So yeah, anyway, I think we can quickly rush back and check out the Home Depot as well. So now back at the Home Depot, you can see just the initial store. It has some storage on the top, some down. Kind of simple place. I do, did like this corner on the back side. But I haven't really looked inside. Ooh, and the door is open. That's lovely. So we can see first we enter into the living room. Of course, no chimney, but it's otherwise quite open. The back side is bedroom, which is way too bright to sleep. I mean, I definitely could not sleep here because the light is so close. And on this side, we first have a kitchen. That seems quite decent. And then bathroom that is actually super tiny. Yeah, it definitely isn't suitable for any bathroom tasks. So it needs definitely some renovation. And on the back side, what we can find is, well, some buildings, which are currently empty. And yeah, it seems that uh, this person also likes to use this uh, block variant that give, leaves the holes everywhere, which I found, find out, find like one of the worst things that Echo has made, because it makes me feel a bit ripped out. But yeah, it's a different thing. Anyway, on this building we can have some kiln. So possibly it's used to make bricks. And can we... Okay. I wanted to check out what's on the roof. Nothing. It's just simple roof. So yeah, that's pretty much what, uh, what we can see over here. So not too much. It's still work in progress, I guess. So yeah, a bit promising, and yeah, they nicely have one of the old crows still available. I also have few, but down, uh, down in the valley behind that place. So I'm 
kind of thinking about uh, using that valley area to make my own garden of some sorts. Can I please go up nicely and quickly, please? So yeah, so I have some plans for that. I'm not sure how long it will take, as I still haven't started properly making the rooms. Yeah, let's let's hop through. So we can see right on the back side there's one tree right there. And the other one I don't think is under my area. But I could possibly even claim when I get a few more claims. But yeah, the other trees are slowly growing, making me feel a bit better. So there's one tree even over here which is very difficult to access. But yeah, I have a plan to maybe start growing some trees on top. I need to flatten out the area a bit to make it better. Ooh, there's one just chilling out there. So I just flatten this area, add some trees, make it better. And yeah, I have, I have quite a lot of uh, basalt on top. It goes well. What can I do with basalt? I can't crush it yet. But yeah, I have loads over here. And also some dirt that is not needed. Let's put this basalt there as well. Yeah, this can't access that basalt over there. So let's move this over here and this over here. So this way the basalt is further away from my main base and making it maybe a little bit easier to keep everything in stock. But yeah, I think that's all I will show for today as well. It's not really much done. I need to work really hard to dig out more space and get everything running more smoothly. Like I definitely, damn, I fell down. I definitely want to get uh, some rooms done so I can have some housing bonus as well. So at the moment I just don't. And yeah, um, I also haven't really decided on the material I want to use because, well, they have been quite expensive. Like, let's see if you go for lumber. Is there any available? There's none available on the market and the prices that people buy it at are quite crazy high. So I'm not really sure about that. And if you go for bricks, Brick prices are now possibly going down just as um, more upgrades are coming. And yeah, it's still at one snowflake, so a little bit expensive. Like usually we can get it to 0.4 even. So I have to see how the season goes. It would be nice to have cheaper ones. But yeah, so based on all that, I will decide what materials I will use. And yeah, I definitely might want to have some windows there as well so. so yeah it would be quite interesting to see in the next one so as i mentioned uh, like before uh, in one of the episodes was it part of the uh, hornet season 4 or even uh, in the death speed my plan is to kind of keep the episodes in a way that it's monday wednesday friday for the hornet and then one day of the weekend for weekly conclusion of the death speed um, actually not active almost at all. I only log in once a day to get my credits and that's pretty much it. I have finished like a major part of the housing, but there's still a lot to do. So, so I have to see if I can get that finished. Maybe I will do it right after this. But yeah, so, so I will see you all uh, in Hornet on Monday and probably on that speed either tomorrow or day after. So yeah. I hope you all have a nice weekend and see you in the next one.